what, what, uh, what is this? So if you're new to the channel, you probably don't know that um, from time to time I like to do some dumb things just to see exactly what happens. Uh, if you've been subscribed for a while, you probably remember that video where I basically took a 212 Evo, built a little plastic box around it, and then we pumped water through it just to see if you could basically water cool an air cooler. Uh, fun fact, you can, and it works out a lot better than we thought, so that was like a success in my book. But then I, you know, I like to go through the comment section, read what you guys say, because you guys every now and then have some good ideas, and this was one of them. So I don't remember who said it, but there was like a meme going around in the comment section. It was like, you should air cool a water cool, and I was like, <laughs> don't threaten me with good time. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make a meme into real life. So this is a Supremacy Evo from EK, and we are going to do just that. I have a compressor set up in the other room. Um, it's really loud, annoying, but it's not on right now. And the idea here is we're gonna pump air through this air water block, turning it into an air block, and see if it cools this CPU, which we've ran this before in its normal configuration, uh, just enough to even keep it on. Because I'm not, I mean, to be honest, I don't really see this working too well, but uh, the idea is not to set any records with cold temperatures. The idea is can we even boot and keep it cool enough that it can run? You might also be wondering why do we have a radiator? Well, let me, let me tell you. So normally a radiator works like this. Water goes in one side, goes up and around, and then out the other side, and you blow air through it to cool down your water. Well, today we're gonna kinda do it backwards. We're gonna put this in water, we're gonna pump air through it, and try to essentially cool the air going into the block to try to get it as cool as possible, because that's really gonna get us a fighting chance to make this work or not. Um, the idea really is kinda like, um, if you have a turbocharger that's hooked up to an intercooler, um, basically your compressed air as it heats up goes through the intercooler try to cool it down to be more efficient as it goes into your engine Kind of the same idea I guess you'd say we're basically just gonna put this in a bucket of ice and we're gonna try to get it the air as cold as possible pump air in one side with said compressor Into the block and then out into the atmosphere and see if we can get this thing to run That's the only goal to run So let's find out if it works So we're set up, let's explain. Uh, this side is open, so this is where our air truck's gonna go. Boom, air in this side into our submerged radiator, out of our radiator into our block, and out of our block into this tube, and this just goes to the, the atmosphere, because at this point we're not gonna recapture the air. We got, we got plenty. Uh, so now let's, uh, let's turn it on and see if, it's, if it makes it to the boot. Whoa. Okay, we gotta be quick, because I don't know how hot she's gonna get and how fast, so. The idea is to get the Ida 64 up, uh, the screen capture going, and uh, see we go. Let's go from there. I don't know if it works, but let's just cool it down if it does. Where's my mouse? It's not on. It's still on. So uh, there's that. That's good. We are struggling to open up Ida64 on OBS. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so as expected, we are, we are booting, but unfortunately we are overheating before we can actually do anything. So the idea now is I'm gonna underclock, I'm gonna try to underclock it, try to bring the voltage down, try to bring the heat output down, to see if we can get to something somewhat stable so we can at least boot and see what our temperatures are, how fast they're going up, and if this has any effect on anything at all. I just set all the uh, bios back to default and we're gonna see, does that get us anywhere? I don't know. You can probably hear the compressor run in the background. It's pretty loud, hopefully it's not picking it up too bad, but see if we can get logged in her. Okay, so before everything gets crazy, I had to back, basically I took the overclock off, we're back to defaults. But everything's booted, we're actually running, and I have OBS going now, so you can see the temperature graphs here, we're at 98. As soon as I hit this button, check it out, we're dropping. I mean, we're coming down slow, but we're only running uh, about 20 pounds. So the, the big problem here is I didn't know how much pressure to put through this thing because I didn't want to blow the doors off the CPU block. 
But you know, based on what I found and doing a little bit of maths and stuff, the D5 pump that comes on this has a max head pressure of 3.9 meters, which converts to a foot or a feet head of 12.792, which converts then into 5.5 PSI. So basically the, the pump only puts out like 5.5, which is not a lot of pressure. So this is at 20, we're gonna start low. Here goes the, con the compressor's going again, but you guys can see that we're, I mean, we have a little bit of a load on the CPU just because it's just running OBS, it's an old CPU, but we're, we're coming down, we're at 86, which is pretty impressive because we're only cooling this off compressed air through a water block. Uh, yes, we have, a, we have some ice in a bucket, but we're not really, we're just trying to cool the air as much as possible. This line does feel cold, which is cool. No pun intended, but the big, the funny thing is, is I can feel heat coming out of this line. So this is taking heat off the CPU. So this might be the dumbest thing ever, but it is actually working. So as you can see, I'm still holding the button down. You can probably hear the compressor on the background. We'll let go and we'll see the, the temperature start to climb here. 90 doesn't take much and they're going up, up, up and up. As soon as we hear the compressor turn off, I'll hit the button and you'll see that they'll drop. Hopefully I don't crack before then. We're starting to throttle, we're starting to throttle. All right, hit the button because I couldn't wait. So the button's hit, throttling's going back down. 1% thermal throttle, 0% thermal throttle. Temperatures are still really high, but they're coming down. Which is actually pretty amazing. That works, it's the weirdest thing ever. Let's see what we're running at. CPU uh, clock speeds here. So we're about 3.4, so like the base clock, uh, we did have a max of 3.7. But this is very interesting. I will say, uh, I didn't really think it was gonna work. I didn't think it was gonna keep the CPU cool enough to actually even run, uh, which it didn't. As soon as it was overclocked, there was just too much, too much voltage, too much heat being produced. We couldn't keep it cool. But as soon as we put everything to default, I mean, there it is. We're, we're not cold, but we are within reasonable limits. I mean, we're in the high 90s or low 90s. We're coming down and we're not throttling, which is <laughs> mind blown. Still got ice water left. I've been holding it down for a minute here. Uh, we're in the upper 80s now. I don't really see it dropping too far. Let the compressor shut off because my finger's getting sore. See, so yeah, as soon as I let go, we're skyrocketing now. So up we go almost immediately to 100, 100 degrees. And then immediately, as soon as you hit the button, I mean, it's, I mean, this fitting is cool. I mean, it's cool to the touch. This plastic hose is cool. This side is warm. So we are removing hit. I, I wish I had like a Fleer camera so I could show you guys uh, what it looks like thermally. But yeah, it's cold side, hot side. There's no hiding it and it's working. I mean, I wonder if we turned up the pressure, if we get any better results. I don't, do I have time to run to the compressor, turn up the pressure, and then get back here before it crashes? I don't know. Oh, you know what I could do is I could just, let me make this more automatic. <laughs> this is the future of air cooling, right here, you saw it first. Or, actually, I don't know if this has ever been done before, but have you seen this before? If you have, uh, let me know down below. But now, now we're running at Full auto, which is funny. Let's make sure this doesn't pop off because it'd be funny. I wonder if the dude that invented duct tape ever knew how important his creation was. Okay, so right now I have OBS turned off just to get the load off the CPU because OBS is just a little too much for the old i5, but um, I'll see if I can pop it up. So right now the, so that's good that the compressor can keep up with the 20 pounds uh, per square inch that we're pumping through this right now. So I'm gonna turn on OBS so you can see what the temperatures are. We've dropped down to the 60s, surprisingly. And then um, I'm gonna turn it off, turn off OBS, get all the load off, run in there, turn it up another 10 PSI, and we're gonna see if it keeps us out of the 90s under just OBS load. I don't know. We're gonna, let me show you what we're at now. So as you see, just immediately just turn it on OBS. We popped up to like a half or 50% CPU load and we went from down here where it was like in the 60s we're in the 70s now, we're still running air through there, so just a little bit of load from OBS is a little too much. But we're running, that's all that matters. So let's turn OBS off, turn up the pressure and see what we can get. So I'm back, I turned it up to, we're running 30 PSI right now, so 30 PSI boost through our intercooler here. 
Temperatures are in the 60s. They went down as low as like 50 in, on idle, no load. I mean, there's like a 4% load, but we're gonna basically, hopefully this doesn't blow anything off. Now nah, we're good, we're good. So now we're pushing some more air through there, more than normal. Uh, still no load, no OBS, 6%, whatever's running that. We're in the 50s though, which is uh, amazing in and of itself. So I'm gonna turn back OBS on so you guys can see, and it's gonna put a 50% load on the CPU. And we're gonna see um, if we can stay in the 80s this time. OBS is on, you can see the 50% load coming up. Temperature is climbing into the 70s. You can see on the graph there that there's our first hitch what we were doing earlier. Then I turned OBS off, uh, had the camera off, and it kind of just slowly dipped down into the, the 50s. And then you can see right here, I was when I had, was setting the compressor, you got it going back up. And then I right there a minute ago where I hit the little air pressure, we dropped and now we're skyrocketing into the 90s and now we're gonna hit it with 30 PSI of air and see where that leads us. I don't know if my little compressor can keep up with 30 PSI, but here we go. Look at that drop, straight down. We're making mountains. In, OB in Ida 64 today, we're drawing mountains. It's like an S sketch. 82, 81. Whoa, into the 70s, eh? 80. Are you guys amazed right now? Because I'm amazed. I had no idea that this was going to work at all, let alone this good. We're still dropping. We're pumping out some heat. Can we get in the 60s? Can we do it? Come on, baby. Oh, I saw 68 for a minute. Still coming down. Okay, we'll let the compressor catch back up because it's probably loud on the camera there. But here we go, climbing up. So again, this is 30 PSI out of the chuck here into the intercooler or radiator that's submerged in ice water, out into the block, and then out into the atmosphere. I think I could just sit here all day. Oh, we're starting to throttle a little bit. 9%, 10%, 11%. Hit it with some air, hit it with some air. If you had like a giant compressor like that could keep up all day long, you could Essentially, this is this is a feasible way to cool a CPU. Obviously, you'd want your compressor far, far away, and you'd want some way to cool down the air coming in. But if you could do it, you could run a cooler like this. And then, if it ever sprung a leak, you really wouldn't need to worry because it's just air. That fitting is hot. Should go without saying. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this on your own stuff if you don't want to break it because. This is not how it was intended to be used. But, tension aside, it's working. Okay, as we drop into the 60s, I'm gonna go bump up the pressure a little more. We're maybe risking it, but I think it's worth it. This is pretty cool. So we're at 30 PSI now, I'm gonna go bump it up another, another 10, we'll do 40. 40 PSI is getting pretty high, but we'll see if we can hold her together. All right, so we're at 40. I'm gonna put on some safety gossels because uh, essentially we might be creating ourselves a little bomb here. So let's see if it explodes. We seem to be good. Let's see if it drops any farther this time. Safety first. Yeah, you can see as we're going up, you can look at the little mountain peaks on OBS here and you can see that the higher our pressure goes, the steeper our drop is when we kick the, kick the air on which essentially means I don't know what PSI this block could hold, but if I can find run the max pressure through it and it should give us best case scenario for cooling because we are dropping quick this time. So now we're in the 60s. 64, we might drop into the 50s now. Every time the pressure goes up, the cooling potential also goes up, which is interesting in and of itself. Yeah, so we are under half load stock, basically stock settings, but we were running no problem, no problem at all. 50s, I would even, these are actually like good temperatures too, like we're, we're at like 55 degrees. Well, I hope you can hear me over our little air-cooled compressor back there, but I think this is a proof of concept to say the least. This works and I am surprised. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I would, I would like to keep dialing up the pressure, but I know we're gonna get to a point where the pressure going into the block is more than it's really rated for. I mean, these are just 
I mean, this is just a plexiglass box. These are, I, I don't want to blow it up to say the least. If I knew the exact pressure that this thing's rated to, it might be crazy. If you know it, let me know in the comments down section below. I mean, if you have another crazy idea like this, I mean, leave a comment because I'm always watching, looking for something crazy to do and uh, I think this qualifies. I thank you guys for watching. Keep leaving me good ideas and we're gonna figure out something because this is awesome. And it works.